Hey, what's up everybody? It's Guy Kicks here back at it again with another review. And in today's video, guys, this is my first ever Vans that I'm reviewing on the channel. And not only that, but it's also a jam collaboration. So I wanted to make this video so that you guys know a few things before you go ahead and buy these on the resale market because obviously these came out a while ago. They sold out already, so you will have to pay resale if you want to get these. So without further ado, let me show you how these look and let's talk sneakers. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is not the first time that Vance and Jam work on a collaboration. They actually had a collaboration back in 2017. And in that one, they used the old school silhouette, which is, in my opinion, my favorite uh, Vance sneaker. Here it's pretty cool that they decided to go with the mids. You know, a lot of times you see mostly lows and the skate highs. So very cool that they decided to go with the mids here. And if you never heard of the brand Jam, they're basically out of Montreal, Canada. They launched back in 2006. You know, they basically drop a lot of like monotone, very minimalistic, you know, styles and garments. You know, they're actually kind of pricey. Um, you know, they believe that, you know, obviously you want to produce good materials so they can last a very long time. So if you're interested in them, want to know more about them, definitely follow them on Instagram because they normally announce their drops through Instagram and things like that. So jumping into this colorway, this one released on August 12, 2021 for a retail price of $150. I was able to get these when I saw all three colorways because there's also a mostly black and a mostly brown colorway. So there was three they dropped, but they dropped in different days. You know, when I saw the olive green, it was the one that caught my attention the most. And basically like I got in pretty quickly when they launched, you had to put in a code or a passcode I forgot what it was. It was like one of those silly questions like what day of the week it is, something like that. But if you got in on time, you probably had a good chance to getting these. You know, the materials on this pair is basically, you know, suede and canvas and some leather materials as well. Around the toe box area, the mid part, the tongue and the heel counter, that's where you're gonna find the suede. Uh, the toe box is also perforated and you do have the white stitching throughout the upper to provide that contrast between the two colors. Around the mid panel and around the heel part of the shoe, that's where you'll find that canvas material and that's in that khaki color. The sock lining of the shoe, it's in that black leather material. The insole is mostly in the white color and you'll find the Vans branding in the black color. Around the lateral and medial side, you'll find the famous wavy Vans stripe and it's in this nice white pebble leather material. The front part of the tongue has the Vans skateboard and it has the Vans off the wall embroidered. The midsole on these mids, it's in the rubber material and it's mostly white. You do have a black stripe around the midsole to provide some contrast. All the way to the heel part of the shoe, you'll find that famous Vans off the wall tag. And in the outsole, it's in that same Vans pattern and it's all in the white color. Another cool detail of this collaboration is that they do come with two color laces. They come with the standard white cotton laces and also with some cream laces as well. Another thing to point out is that the insole on these is actually quite thick compared to your regular Vans sneakers. So this should provide some additional support and comfort. You know, the shoes came in this mostly white and black box. Very simple. You have the Vans logo on the top here. You have Jown on the side. And here's the official tag in SKU. When it comes to sizing, guys, I think this is the most important part of the video. You know, they do run slightly big. So I definitely recommend you go a half size down from your regular van size. I normally go with a size 10 and I do have a little bit of heel slippage and the toe box area kind of feels a little bit big for me, but not too bad that I can't rock these. So if you're someone who likes a more snug fit, definitely go a half size down with these. When it comes to comfort, they're going to feel like your usual van sneaker. You know, the insole, it is a little bit thick, so you do get a little bit of comfort there, a little bit of more support which I do appreciate, but overall, they still feel like your regular van sneaker. So my overall take on these vans and jam collaboration is that for the most part, you know, I think it's a dope collaboration. I do like the other three colorways, but to me, this one was my favorite one. You know, the sneakers are pricey, $150 for some vans. You know, that's definitely pricey. You know, this collaboration really reminds me of like the Converse and Comme des Garcons collaboration where, you know, the Chuck 70s, you know, retail for 85 bucks, but the, the CDGs or Comme des Garcons, they're going for 150, so you're paying additional money for that brand. You know, it's similar to that collaboration, you know, the materials between the OGs 
and the Comme des Garcons is basically kind of like the same thing. That's how I feel here with these mids and comparing them with like my old school band. You know, the suede here does feel a little bit better. It's not as synthetic as the regular old school vans. You know, it is a little bit better and you are getting a thicker insole. So that should give you some additional comfort throughout the day. But overall, you're mostly paying that premium because this is a general sneaker. And this was a regular van sneaker out in the market for retail. It'll probably go for like 85, 90 bucks, but you throw in that down brand and it just changes everything. So is it worth to pay $150 or have to pay resale for these? I mean, again, it's just totally up to you. Depends on how much you like these. Honestly, I wouldn't be paying resale for these, but if you like the shoe and if you're into Jown and things like that, then it'll be a no brainer. But if you're someone who's not really interested in the whole Jown brand and you don't really care about that, then I'm sure you could probably find a similar colorway to these. Um, on the Vans website or somewhere else. So with that being said, let me throw these on and show you how they look on feet. Alright guys, so that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look and some information about these Vans and Jown collaboration. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to buy these when they drop, which is your favorite colorway, or if you're thinking of buying these on the resale market. And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, man. Without you guys, this channel can't grow, so I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'll leave a link to my Instagram page where you guys can go follow me there as well. I normally post, you know, pictures of sneakers I have, you know, sneakers in my collection, whatever I'm rocking that day. And also providing information about any, you know, upcoming drops or any like restocks or like drops that just happen at the moment, just to provide you guys a heads up so you guys can go cop and get that W. So that's it guys. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.